you've been on my platform a lot and you never told this story before and you did security when this situation happened. But tell me about the city college stampede that took place where now people died. Cause I know you blame Diddy for that situation. Well, we were we were we were scheduled to do the outside of the college, outside of the gym, nasal. Cause that's what my team was good at. You understand? I had 18 guys prepared to be outside to make sure that we could get the crowd in order. You understand? Before there was any crowd, you got to set the things up before you even get the crowd like that, especially in those type of things. And back then in the days, we used to have dogs and everything. I would have a guy with two dogs walking the street, making sure people get go down the lane, you know what I'm saying, and don't bum rush the doors. You know, people ain't bum rushing the doors when you got dogs out there. You know what I mean? So, and it's crazy that we have to do parties like that, but that was one of our security things that we did. So now, um, Puff called me and said, yo, Gene, we only need eight guys. I said, eight guys? You can't, ain't no way you're going to do the suit of college with eight guys. He said, no, Heavy D, because him and Heavy D was doing a party together. He was like, yo, Heavy D want the FOIs to do the outside. I said, the FOIs? He said, yeah. So I, I said, yo, fuck it, I ain't going to do it. You know, and then my man, who's my partner, Slick, said, yo, man, we're going to go ahead and do it, man. And we're just going to get a couple of bottles, just going to chill. And, you know, we just we just go outside. We, we, do the, we, we do the downstairs. So Puff told me that, you know, he just wanted us to do inside the gym and make sure that nobody, you know, be over the celebrities like that. That's what he wanted my team to do. But... Most of the celebrities going to have their own security anyway. You know what I'm saying? That was just a way to cut our security off anyway. So he cut the security and he got the FOIs and the FOIs left their post. And that's how the people bum rushed the door and nine people died by going down those corridors. And you blame Diddy for that? Yeah, I do. It's his fault. But it's Jessica fault for shutting the door. Because had she not shut the door, people would have just walked in the gym. And you'd have had a gym full of people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody would have probably died. It's her fault and it's his fault. So you really think it's Diddy's fault? Why you believe that? Because you don't cut security to save a dollar. You don't cut security when security is the most important thing that you got to have at these places. And that's what he did. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't listen. He didn't listen. He didn't listen. And I even told him, I said, yo, if the FOIs don't get a barricade away from this door, people going to die tonight. I told that to him. And what happened? Nine people died that night. What was his reaction to the nine people dying? I didn't talk to him for a while. He used to come around with us with the same game, and he just say, "Yo, he just speak to Gene." He like, "Yo, what up, Gene?" I'll be like, "Yo, what up?" I didn't speak to him until after that Suge Knight stuff that they had with Jake in Atlanta. That's when I started back really speaking to him. Wow, because you felt the type of way about what he did. Nah, come on, bro. Nine kids died, bro. I was pumping the chest of one little boy when my man was crying, talking about, yo, this is my first time him being out. This is the first time him being out, bro. My mama gonna kill me. I'm pumping on the chest of a little 17-year-old boy. How would you feel? 